Hello to you and welcome to Land of Reiki and Aroma channel. Today we have a special guest, Julie Lomas, straight away from Barre talking about crystal therapy. Stay with us, we are going to start in a few minutes. Hello to you, hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, no matter where you are uh, in the world, and welcome to Land of Reiki and Aroma channel, and uh, today resume the previous uh, episode that we uh, have uh, many nice guests, lovely people talking different therapy, and now beginning once again in 2023 with uh, our first guest. Julie, uh, that we are going to talk about crystal therapy. So welcome, Julie. It's wonderful to have you in this lovely afternoon here oh, in UK, you. but you are in Bahrain, so yes. it's another time. Uh, so welcome to the Land of Reiki and Aroma channel. And I would like that you introduce yourself, tell about how you, you and how you end up with the crystal. Well, hi, Sala. Thank you so much for inviting me to your lovely channel. And it's a pleasure. And it's so nice to be on the opposite side, being interviewed rather than me interviewing. So for those of you who don't know me, um, I'm Julie Lomas. I am one of my many things I do is crystal therapy. And I've been doing that for about 30 years. I also um, am a Jikadin Reiki uh, practitioner and teacher and that's where I started my journey with Reiki in like 1992 I think it was here in Bahrain and um, I was ill I was quite sick and it was Reiki that got me well so it took me on a very long journey and once I was well and I learned Reiki and then crystal therapy um, it just opened up all my um, abilities I think that I'd had as a child and I absolutely adore crystals it's my passion my joy you know as soon as I mention the word crystal I'm smiling <laughs> and uh, so I take that I teach it I teach I I learned over the years I did a lot of training and um, now I teach crystal therapy Reiki and other things around the world um, but I call myself an integrative healer uh, because I'm also a, a life coach, crystal therapist, color therapist, Reiki. And I've integrated it all into a session. Everybody's individual. Um, and I absolutely adore my work and I, can, I take it everywhere. Most of the time I'm here, here in Bahrain, Kuwait. Uh, once a year, when COVID's not interfering, I go to the USA and, of course, in the UK and wherever else I'm invited. So it's been an amazing journey for me. Uh, but at the end of the day, no matter what I learn, what I do, crystals take over and they're a joy. So that's yes, me. Wonderful. So oh, Very mm -hmm. nice. It's lovely to, to know all about that because we met a couple of times uh, and yes. uh, more online that uh, in presence. The last time that we see each other in real life in person really was in 2020, as we mentioned in our back backstage. And mm -hmm. uh, this is, uh, it's allowed will be three years now ago, no? 
yes, you know, yes, yes. With that. and there was so love in your house and all the people we never thought about no COVID, no restriction. <laughs> Everybody was in the room, <laughs> 20 people together, and no one was thinking about, oh my God, I need to put a mask or something. So no. that uh, uh, took us in, in different directions. Huh? Uh -huh. So I will uh, start with the first question. So when does crystal therapy arrive in your life? Well, it arrived fully and totally in around about 1992 um, after I'd been ill and I was recovering and I'd learned, I had my first Reiki experience. I got well, I learned Reiki, but the moment I learned the Reiki, I suddenly, my intuition, my healing abilities all came out and suddenly the crystals were drawing me again, which mm -hmm. is very funny because as a child, I was always outside in nature. I always had pockets full of stones or gems or I was take, borrowing people's jewellery and crystals, even way back in the 60s. Uh -huh. um, and that's how crystal therapy came into my life. But once I started to uh, really embrace it was in the, in the early 90s. And I have been very, very fortunate soul um, I have had some of the best teachers in the world, the people who wrote the books, they all, they, they just fell in my path. They, I just came across them somehow and met them and then trained with them. Um, Sue and Simon Lilly, Hazel Raven, and all of these people. And I don't know how it happened really. It just kind of like just kept happening and happening. And um, the more I worked with crystals, the more I was drawn to them. Um, and they call you and crystal therapy is tremendously uh, powerful um, but there's so much misunderstanding about what crystals are you know people go oh no they're bad or they're good or but you know crystals are just mother nature's gifts to us yeah. and they only ever help you and I've had some amazing experiences um, so I think at the end of the day, I have my Reiki and the crystals and together uh, we can do almost, I, I think sometimes I feel like we're invincible with those two for holistic health. That's good to know. Uh, my experience with the crystal is limited as just a, uh, a client. I came across the crystal and uh, in Brazil we have uh, included some, it's said to be flower essence. Um, the, the, there is a system that uses just crystal as to take orally. So all the crystals is called Crystal Ox, and the the the, the company uh, work exactly with the properties of the crystals. But instead, you use as on you or do like a put them in the sun with the water and drink. Yes. They do, uh, they do bottles as similar as the flower essence, they do bottles of crystals essence. So the people, is very popular, the people take, I took over there, and this, the vibration, uh, because they are, we can call the crystal therapy and the vibration uh, therapy, no? Yes, yes. And I actually make some. <laughs> I actually have some here, which I make my, myself, um, and very powerful. Um, so crystals are powerful no matter how you use them, whether you hold them, just have them near you, or you take the essences. Um, and some people really, really enjoy to take them because they re sometimes it's psychological. The, the energy will work anyway, but some people are just like to think that digesting it rather than um, holding it. So, but they work and they can pull you out of... Um, emotional issues very quickly and they help with pain as well so it works very similar to the flower essence yes, yes, yes. Uh, because of they now they start to tell that all the biofield or bioenergetic therapy it, they can be uh, better explained to the uh, quantum physics yes yes because yes they, if we follow the new, newton uh, way to think Everything is mechanical. So, and the, this is was in 
1600. So to date, the, the our, you know, advanced to the mathematics and physics, we can explain better things that we didn't know that was uh, be possible to ex be explained. We just trust and follow our intuition. Eh? Yes. Yes. So yes. What is crystal therapy? So crystal therapy is amazing. As you can see, I'm just so happy. The moment you say, what's crystal therapy? Well, um, crystals, are, I always think of them as mother nature's gifts to us. They vibrate, we vibrate as human beings. They are as one of the most stable forms of energy in the universe that we know of. There may be other things we've not yet discovered. And as you just said, we're discovering new things all the time. But because they're stable and we're, we are not so stable, when we come into the vicinity of a crystal, any crystal, rose quartz, for instance, my favourite, um, they're made up with certain properties. They've got minerals in them, colour, um, structure. And working with crystal therapy is, we'll be working, sometimes we're working with the colour of the crystal, Sometimes it's the mineral content, sometimes it's the structure. But our body vibrates along with them and they are more stable. So when we come into vicinity of a crystal, whether we're holding it, meditating, wearing it, or just around, it starts to bring us to a, a more stable place. Now, very often you'll go into a crystal store and you might go in there thinking, I'm going to buy a green crystal today, but you'll come out with a blue one or a black one or a green one, anything except for what you went there with. And that in itself is crystal therapy, because what's happened is, even though you're not aware of it, your body has started to vibrate with the crystals in the store. And it's, they've called you, literally called you, the vibration has called you and your body knows what it needs. Um, and that's where it starts. Um, so you can never pick the wrong crystal because you'll always pick the one that your body is calling for or it's calling you. We say they're calling you us, but it's both ways. So in crystal therapy, that's where it starts. But if you came to me for a crystal therapy session, sometimes intuitively, I am very intuitive and sometimes I, I just know things, but I can tell from the vibration of a body what is going to help them. We can place them on the body, round the body, hold them, just meditate with them. And they start to balance you. They will very often, you'll feel emotional. Um, very often people will, will cry, release, and then they always leave feeling much calmer. Um, some crystals will really ground you. So when people are really in their heads and they can't think and they're all over the place, very often they just need to be grounded. And then I would use some of the black crystals. So I would use some of the things like black tourmaline or the obsidians um, because they ground. Some of the black crystals are really good for pain. Um, and so we use, um, again, a black obsidian or hematite are really good for pain and grounding. Very often when you have got chronic pain or even acute pain, you go up into your head and you can't and your body tenses and you, you just can't get out of the pain. And so placing some of these crystals on you or around you, mainly at your feet or in the painful area, this will relax the body and then you can breathe better. And then the healing properties of the crystals, whatever mineral will help, or it takes you out of your head and you feel better. So I could talk for hours, Sol, about this. But very, basically, very, very interesting. I am yes. enjoy your, what you are saying. So my next <laughs> question, uh, 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 like uh, compliment the, the what you are talking, that every crystal has different property, as you said. Yes. Right? Yes. And uh, can you explain about or give some examples you did? Um, because the people think that, uh, well, which crystal I need to choose? You just said that sometimes you go to a shop and you, there are one that call me like, hello, it's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have some around here with me, like uh, this one here. 
but I don't know the names. I like them and I keep them near to me, but I really uh, I have a trouble, I would say to you, to to know the name. Of course, the rose quartz is something that really very easy. There are clear quartz. Yes, uh, yes. Easy to to remember the name and everything, you know. And in Brazil, we have a loads of uh, the the um, big ones like um, with amethyst. The, uh, amethyst is big. Yeah. You can go inside. There is yes. much. And uh, also, is in terms of shop when you go, is you buy by kilo because it's so cheap that you can go. The trouble is when I go to this type of shop and come back to K is to measure the weight of my bag. So <laughs> <No>. anyway, <laughs> I know because that's what happens with crystals. You just you can never have enough, and you just want more and more. more and well, more. The, the, it doesn't matter that you, if you don't know the names of the crystals that you have, and there's so many anyway, you cannot remember them all. Um, but it's you'll never have the wrong ones um, because they all have different properties. But let's just do a few of the basic ones that people probably will enjoy and I'll explain them to you. So first of all, foremost is my favorite. It's rose quartz. I mean, wearing it today. I think we should be born with this. Yes. So this is it's, it's the most wonderful, beautiful crystal you could ever have in your life. So it's I. So it's about love. It's about self-love, tough love. Um, and it's very calming and very soothing. And I always recommend that people use their crystals in their left hand. It's better in their left hand because that's your emotional side. But it doesn't matter if you want to wear it on your right side. So this is for love and for calming and just making you feel better in any way. So even for if you suffer with anxiety, um, this is a good crystal to have. Um, for love. When your daughter's had her first heartbreak, it's a good one to give her because it's so soothing and babies love it too. When you're feeling a little bit down and out or slightly depressed, citrine. Citrine is that lovely yellow colour so it brings joy, it's uplifting and it will also give you confidence Again, you can place it either over your solar plexus area or hold it in your hand, meditate with it. Sometimes uh, if you're in Brazil and of course where crystals are cheaper, you can buy them by the kilo, make circles, lying the circles um, or sitting in the circles. We do do that here in Bahrain a lot because I have my friends who own a beautiful crystal shop called Eight Mansions, and we often do workshops or just days in there where I go and talk to the clients and we, we lay out lots of crystals for them to stand in and lie in. And this is how we can help people with emotional problems. We have um, Carnelian, which is very good for creativity and for ladies' issues. So we can use it on the sacral area and it's the colour and the mineral content that works. And also for ladies is moonstones. Ah, what did I do with my moonstones? You know, crystals hide from you sometimes. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> they disappear. Oh, they say, where are you? Are you worried? Yeah, you're, where are you? They literally disappear. And I've had sessions, I've been teaching and suddenly crystals just like lift up off the body and like fly away so anyway but moonstones we've got the green ones here the peach ones because you have the the blue ones these are really really good for women's problems but they're also good for the ego so i very often recommend men hold moonstones you know, sometimes men at work, their, their egos can take over or they need to calm down and to be more stable. I often recommend um, Moonstone because it calms them because it's got a more feminine energy. Mm -hmm. um, so Moonstones, and again, very good for hormonal problems, women's problems, menopause. And we're all talking about menopause these days. Very often when people are feeling sad, or anxious or can't think, it's because they're not grounded and they need, people need grounding. We live on this planet. We have to be grounded here and people prefer to live up there uh, or be up there or 
they can't think straight, whatever. And it's because we need to be grounded. Even if you're very, very intuitive and psychic, you still need to be grounded so that you can understand the messages that you're getting or the guidance. And that's where I really recommend we use black crystals or the dark colored crystals, black tourmalines, your black obsidians, um, hematites, uh, smoky quartz. They will all help to ground you and you will instantly feel calmer and you'll clear your head and you can think more clearly. And then of course, there's one other one we have to, we cannot forget, which is our good old clear quartz. So ignored. And yet this is your master crystal, your yeah. clear quartz. This is the most amazing of all the crystals. It's the only one that can be truly programmed to do other things or to, you can program it to help you to focus. I had a client, bless him, he used, I've never been able to do this, Sol, in 30 something years. He learned how to program his crystal every day um, with his shopping list. And he'd put it in here, go off to the shops, hold his crystal, get his list, and go home. And it was fine. Oh. And I'll never, yeah, he was amazing. But I'll never forget one day, because he lived in New York, and I was living in Bahrain at the time. And he phones me up in the middle of the night, Julie, I need help my gosh, what's wrong? I can't find my crystal and my shopping list in it and I don't know what to do. What do I need to buy? I went, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but your mask, this is, I, don't know, I, know, I still laugh. I said, what do you want me to do? <laughs> really? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, but this is your master crystal. So if you only ever want to buy one crystal in your life or you can only ever afford to buy one crystal, Take care of what's. We can program it, reprogram it, undo it. It clears. It's just amazing. Meditate with it. Clears your head. It's just amazing. And I think it's very um, misunderstood because people kind of look at the at the clear quartz. They pick it up and then they put it down, and then they forget about it. So. Um, I recommend it and I'm just going to just plug myself in again here. I just saw that I'm running out of charge. I oh. don't know why that's because I'm working with crystals and I was a fully charged yeah, uh, yeah. phone here. But anyway, so those are just some of the properties in the crystals and the one. Oh, and of course, your amethyst. Everybody loves amethyst. Purple yeah. one, yeah, which is your all round. Yeah, it's your yeah. all round healer. Um, and for everyone, but always remember, you'll never pick the wrong crystal because it's actually picking you. They never harm you. But sometimes you do start to cry or you feel anxious. And that's because it's helping you to release and to heal and to feel better. So some people get a little bit scared when they hold a crystal and they think, oh, it's making me shake or it's making me anxious um, and it's not doing you any harm, it's actually helping you. Yeah. But people yeah. misunderstand. There's no such thing as a bad crystal. They're all good. No, we're They're good. all energy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And energy's energy. Yeah, and what energy we do, is energy. Yeah, and it's what we do with it that makes it good or, yeah. or bad. Uh, is the way that the humans add their uh, their sensation or are taking like uh, this is very important when you when we work with Reiki and then we say well worry you are going to worry you go to the future or you go to anger and you stay in the past so the proper principles of Reiki give it to you that clue that or you are there so you, the focus in the present moment eh? yes that, absolutely the, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. with this, uh, you mentioned before that uh, you know you don't, as we are talking about Reiki, for example, you don't need to just work with crystal alone. You can uh, add crystal, incorporate crystal in other therapy. Uh, how you yeah. do in your practice? How yes, I, I do. I call it integrated therapy now because I use Reiki. I mean, I use Reiki all the time. I mean, you, as you know, you learn Reiki, yeah. it's on and it's off. Um, and very often I can enhance 
the the Reiki session with the crystals because as emotions come up or they've got pain, I know which ones I can use with the client to enhance their healing ability to move it on a little bit faster and to help with the pain. Um, crystals can be incorporated into absolutely every therapy. Um, I'm a life coach as well, as you know, and sometimes when I'm life coaching, um, people get sad or emotional um, and I will give them a crystal to hold mm -hmm. to help them through that emotion. I've been doing it for over 30 years, so automatically I somehow intuitively I know this crystal will help you with the emotion you're feeling or the sadness or the anger. Um, and of course, you can go in colour therapy because sometimes when I'm using crystals, we're using it for the colour, not for the mineral content or for the structure. So I highly recommend that you use or enjoy your crystals fully and use them with your other therapies. But my advice to you is not to use too many, even if you're just doing a crystal therapy session, because if you have lots and lots and lots of crystals on you, all different, they've all got different properties, they're all vibrating to a different vibration, they've all got different structure, they've all got different colours, we don't want to confuse the body. We, so less is more. A little bit like with Reiki at times, less yeah. is more, you know, the simpler it is, the more powerful. So I would never use more than about five um, different types of crystals on somebody at one time, unless I was doing a basic chakra balance where mm. I would use just the colours for the, the chakras. But um, definitely use them. If you're ever in doubt, I always say, if in doubt, whip clear quartz out because clear quartz will balance calm and does everything um but i i do recommend and people to to not be afraid and to use them in any of their therapies to help their clients even if it's just holding one crystal clear course yeah and the the, the people also say about the uh, to clean crystals is necessary or how is uh, your suggestion for example Yes. Now, cleansing crystals is very important. Um, I, For most crystals, you can use running water, uh, but there are some crystals that are soft, like selenide, that, uh, or as you're right, they're not good in water, it would melt them. So with those, you could spray one of the essences that are made specially to clear, or put them in um, some rose petals or rice. I don't advocate salt or salt water. Um, because salt is corrosive and if one of your crystals has got a little nick or something in it and the salt or the salt water got in there very often it starts to dissolve or hurt the crystal however saying that seawater doesn't seem to do that but just to be on the safe side i always say just use clear water and i I mean, after every session, I, I put them into to the bowl in the sink and just lay the water to run on them for about a minute or two minutes. There are many, many ways to clear your crystals. You can use incense, smoke, rice, um, all sorts. I have lots of information on my my own YouTube channel about this, and maybe we can talk about it another time. And But this is how yeah. I teach them. Uh, and then, of course, it's very important to clear them especially if you're using them on somebody else. Yeah, I mean, exactly. for yourself, yeah. Um, for yourself, it's fine because it's you. Yeah. But I wouldn't use mine now and then put them on somebody else. And then on somebody else, we always need to clear them. So you can use incense water. But water's best. And if you really, really, really do want to use salt, because there are many people who say, no, no, you've got to use salt, depending on what they've learned or what they believe. So I say then, okay, make a circle of salt and then put your crystals in the middle but don't let the salt touch the crystals and it pulls the energy out anyway and of course then after you've cleaned your crystals very often they if you've been using them a lot they need charging they need energizing and so that's when i put them in the sun for an hour or so and of course the moonlight full moon yeah. and um they love the moon especially moonstones and things and actually sometimes so I've left them out like 24 or 48 mm -hmm. hours so they've had all the seasons they've had sun 
moon, rain, wind, shine, everything. And, and then they, they, yeah, everything. And they really come back to life. So very important. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's wonderful uh, to talk with you. Probably we needed to to do another video more specific because you are so knowledgeable about uh, uh, crystal therapy that I am uh, really thrilled to to know all this that you have been told to us in this uh, little video. So if the people would like to contact you, what is your channels? Because you mentioned you have a YouTube channel. Uh, and I uh, will put the description in this video and how they can contact you. You have Instagram, Facebook, how is the... Uh... Oh, well, thanks to my lovely friend Gizm, she sorts me out with all this stuff. So my, con uh, my YouTube channel is Conscious Connections. Uh, my Facebook is Julie's Conscious Connections. Uh, my Instagram is Julie's Conscious Connections plus Julie Lomassi. And I think that's it. Oh, and I have a website, uh, julielomas.com. And my email is julie at julielomas.com or julie at Conscious Connections. So you can message me anywhere. And um, sometimes I'm a little bit slow at answering, uh, not because I'm lazy, but because I'm traveling. But I do always get normally get back to you within like two days at the most so yes i i can tell this i can i confirm this because we are in the group of reiki and uh, you yeah. are there to give the support and click and everything so it's something yeah. that uh, is part of you and that's it you know so yeah, i want to say to you thank you so much for your time to be in my channel to tell about what you do with the crystals and I'm sure that uh, our viewers will be delighted to hear about and uh, I hope to have you another day in here to talk about, for example, how to balance uh, the chakras with the uh, crystals. Yeah. One oh, uh, so oh. Oh, my <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> it's my pleasure and I'd be very happy to come back and uh, help you anyway. And if anybody wants to message me and ask me questions, as you can tell, I talk about crystals and my face lights up. It's my passion. <laughs> I love it. But thank you so much. And uh, I really have enjoyed it. See you thank next you. time. Bye. See you again. Bye. Bye.